Well, hello everyone. You're probably a little shocked here to see that we're not in our usual uh, longitude. We're still in Rio de Janeiro, but I figured, you know what? It's been a long time since we've done a little sightseeing video, and this is Rio de Janeiro after all. So, I was thinking we'd uh, hop in the Cessna uh, as uh, the sun's getting lower and lower in the sky and uh, go check out uh, some of the uh, sites here in uh, in Rio uh, because you know it's a beautiful city and uh, why not right sometimes I uh, get so uh, you know obsessed with uh, all the details that I fail to uh, stop a moment and check things out so that's what we're gonna do uh, I'm a little hamstrung with the fact that I don't know Rio but we'll figure it out what do you say huh let's get up in the air this things a lot less demanding to fly I'll tell you that much airspeeds alive Sixty knots will rotate. Oh, leaps up into the air. Let's trim this a little bit. Wow, I'm not used to flying this. The wind's affecting us, you can see. I turned off air traffic control. We're just going to look around. That is the purpose of this flight. Had a good flight up from uh, Buenos Aires yesterday, but uh, decided to check things out here with a rented Cessna. It's funny, you really get used to, uh, come on, trim, trim, trim. You get really get used to your plane that you fly normally. I probably should have picked the the Cessna 172. I'm flying the 172 right now, but I probably should have picked the one with uh, without the uh, G1000 avionics, just because it's a lot more to manage. Oh, this camera screwed up even in the Cessna. All right, we're all properly trimmed now. 90 knots, and uh, actually, we need to trim a little bit more. We're still climbing. I'd like to level out at a thousand feet if I can. Get that number right there. That's representing our vertical speed in feet. Now, of course, I, in theory, should just use the autopilot, but uh, what fun would that be, right? There's the trim. All right, we're headed towards downtown Rio. I see it out here. Let's see if we can find Christ the Redeemer. I think I, I have no idea where it is in real life. None. Pretty nice uh, cockpit. It's G1000. Look at this. There's like actual handwriting on this. That's incredible. You can tell it was written by the Frenchies because the the number one looks weird. I think this might be Christ the Redeemer right there. Let's go check it out. Been a long time since I've... I think the last time I did a sightseeing trip was in uh, Panama. If I'm not mistaken. Anyway, it's fun exploring. I haven't done this in forever. Straight and level. Still climbing. Very delicate. Trying to trim us so that we're just straight and level instead of climbing. A little causeway. Nice, there's actual cars on the causeway. That's pretty slick. Come on. 
Let's see. What do you think? Is that it? I think that's it. I'm guessing this would attract a little attention if this was happening in real life. <laughs> Downtown Rio. Nice. Beautiful weather. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Train station. Look at that weird building. We'll go check that out in a minute. Up to 2,000 feet now. I don't know if this is Christ the Redeemer, this famous statue, but it kind of looks like it. I think it is. 2,250 feet, doing 109 knots. Got some terrain ahead of us, but I don't see it being a problem. Okay, we're going to pass by what I believe to be a statue. I love how some of the cities in the shade of the mountain. That is so cool. I think we're coming up on it, gang. Yes, we are. Sweet. Passing over the treetops comfortably. 500. 500, she told us. Well, now we know how high we are above the treetops. Now, wait a minute. What's what's going on with Christ the Redeemer? I'm going to come out and see him, or is, it looks like it's just his shoulders. What the? That wasn't how I pictured it. <laughs> okay, you know, <laughs> so much for that. Oh, that's kind of a letdown. Well, I guess we'll head back. You've now seen half. Christ the Redeemer apparently sunk up to his uh, chest. That's kind of funny. What, what in the world? It's only one of the most famous landmarks in the world. You'd think that they would uh, make sure that it was good. All right, anyway, what are you going to do? Don't need to be this high, so let's start slowing down. We'll do one final pass over downtown Rio. And then I'll uh, spare you the the landing. We're going to land at this run, this airport right in front of us. SBRJ, whatever that is. Right here. That's where we're going to land. SBRJ. That's funny. I really thought that... That's a cool looking building though right there. I don't... I really thought that they would have had that working. Pretty cool view of downtown uh, Rio, though. Pretty slick. Cars look good. passing over the airport right now, so. Tell you what.
let's... Wow, the city actually looks really good. Alright. Turn around. And make a pretty sharp turn here. Get back onto final. Water looks good. I have no idea what airport we're landing at. But there it is. Five hundred. Full flaps a little earlier than I otherwise norm would. Ooh, this is a tiny runway. Wow. That right rudder. Ooh, this looks like a cool runway to land at. Man, two zero right, whatever is SBRJ is. Airspeed sixty knots. Fifty nine. Try to time that stall. Let's get on the numbers. What do you say? Flare. We touch down about forty four knots. That works for me. Ah, uh, there's no reverse thrusters to deploy. Ooh, 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 Jesus. <laughs> this thing doesn't... <laughs> I've forgotten how to turn these little planes. All right, well, welcome to whatever SBRJ is. I think we're probably going to go get arrested. I wonder why Christ the Redeemer didn't work. I really would have thought it would have. All right, that's that. A little silly video today. We'll uh, head off to uh, Bogota tomorrow. Anyway, thanks for joining us.